let us see the next program to find a greatest number among three numbers so here we will be using logical operators as well as we will be also using else if so let us see the problem statement problem statement to find greatest number among three numbers to find the greatest number among three numbers hash include stdio.h in main so here i am initializing three variables a b and c printer enter a b c values so i need to give the values of a and b at run time percentile d percentile d percentile d as i am using three integer variables three format specifiers need to be specified then address of a comma address of b comma address of c now i am writing the first condition if a is greater than b and a is greater than c a is greater than b and a is greater than c printer a is the greatest a is greatest number a is the greatest number else if b is greater than a and b is greater than c then printer b is greatest number b is greatest number the last case is printer c is greatest number so we need to remember one important point over here is whenever we are using else if else if should have the last else part if there is no else in the else if then it leads to a dangling else problem it leads to a dangling else problem so you should make sure that whenever you are using else if the last statement should be with the else when both the conditions are not satisfied at last the last one will get satisfied return 0 so this is how we will be finding the greatest number among three numbers so let me execute the code so let me execute the code enter the values enter the a b c values i'll be giving a value as 10 b value as 20 and c value as 30 so ultimately c is the greatest number in the first case 10 is greater than 20 condition is false then it will go for else if is 20 greater than 10 condition is true then is 20 greater than 30 condition is false then it will go for the else part that is how we got c is the greatest number so we will be seeing the another test case where b is the greatest so i'll be giving a value as 10 b value as 30 c value as 20 now b is the greatest so first check the condition is 10 greater than 30 false immediately it goes here next b is greater than a that is 30 greater than 10 and 30 greater than 
so both the conditions are satisfied because of which we got b is the greatest number the next test case here we'll be checking with a is the greatest i'll be giving a as 30 b as 20 and c as 10 now here we got a is the greatest number so 30 greater than 20 condition is true and 30 is greater than 10 condition is true when both the conditions are true logical and is true then we are going to print this statement so this is how we are going to find the greatest number among three numbers the next program to find smallest number smallest number among three numbers to find smallest number among three numbers smallest number among three numbers just I'm modifying within the same code smallest number so what are the conditions you need to change here is a is less than b and a is less than c is b is less than a and b is less than c then you run the code and check with all the three test cases so starting from a is the smallest so i'll be giving 1 a b is 2 and c is 3 so a is the smallest number next checking with the b is the smallest number a is 2 b is 1 c is 3 so b is the smallest number checking with the last test case a is 3 b is 2 and c is 1 so c is the smallest number so this is how we can find the smallest number in a given three numbers the next problem statement is to check whether a given number is positive, negative or zero. So I'll be taking a number, int number, enter the number. So I'm reading a single number. That is why I'm removing two percent IDs. Address of number. So what are the conditions here? If number greater than 0 if number greater than 0 printf positive number else if if number less than 0 it is negative number else the last case is 0 the given number is 0 now let us execute this code and verify I am giving the number as 100 this is a positive number is 100 is greater than 0 condition is true then it is printing the true part so we need to remember that if condition is satisfied then it will never go for else if or else part if condition is failed then it goes for else if part 
in the else if part the code is executed the condition is true then only it executes and it never goes for else if if part failed else if part failed only then it goes for the else part now let me check with the negative number i'm giving minus 10 which is number is less than 0 first case it is false second case it is true that is why i am getting negative number and the last case is i am giving the number as 0 0 greater than 0 false 0 less than 0 false so it is 0 so this is how we are going to get the given number is positive negative or zero